Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Break It Down. Let's continue exploring Worms Crossing. Starting with Audric Shedavir. Finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Come back soon. Fresh catch every day, guaranteed. Oh, Alright, Rob Ron Silt. Birthday boy's just nervous, but don't worry. Everyone is sure. You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? I'll take a look. Do come again. Dancing, dinner, exactly. Pleasure isn't just physical. All right, Kali Hammerhead and Nino Quilltop. If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed. All right. Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. No need to crowd me. There's enough food in the city to feed an army, fist, absolute, or otherwise. Why is everyone acting so normal? The absolute armies are coming. We need to stock up. Ham, cheese, fruit, veg. Oh, I'm forgetting something. Oh, what am I forgetting? Just adding to the problem. Ten loaves of bread. Are you sure? Do what must be done. This ought to be good. And what are you doing in here? <laughs> Light on my feet. Better be cautious. She can't see us. Another step forward. Still a little creepy. Not a very impressive haul for a DC 18 door. Still some 
Need to keep going. You know, with my parents, remember? Don't waste a step. I am not going inside. Inside the door. So the Harpers are waiting too. We're well, we close to her quest. Are you sure? I think it's down to where we were. Unless they're kind of stealing his wisp weed, so I guess I'll grab those. A quick save beforehand, but the game is telling me it's not stealing, so if we... Backtracks on that, I'm gonna reload. Alright, Cillian and Sirixana. I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything. I mean, uh, good day to you. Yeah, play it cool, man. I'm just buying uh, bread off me friend here. Everything is fine. I can tell. If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. Really cool shirt. The hesitation. snake motif in it. Speak as delightful as you are, I'll have to send you on your way. My customers need my undivided attention. Right, we've been up there already. I guess we'll go down the stairs instead. Let's get going. What? What does it feel like? In a word, sir. Not Almost painfully so. My body burns like the moonday sun. And the person with you. They enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I had no less than two maidens and a bachelor of flooring at my door. Refugees down here. It's a shame I can't give them gold. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Is yeah, I'll get there eventually. Steel watchers in operation during the coronation of Lord Gortash. Please refrain from criminal activity and be courteous to the flaming fists. Trying to climb up one, you madman! I think those letters were inside, right? Alright, Trinigan Gazots. Benigaroon and Slozy Arminifer. What I wouldn't give to me. My mate got thrown by a steel watcher. Lucky bugger. The trajectory was perfection. What I wouldn't give to see how those things are made. Finest engineering this side of the Chianthar. Do you still watch a fan too? If so, we meet here every day to discuss their mechanics. The optics, the motorized pistons, the propulsion stabilizers, and when they're all working together, it's like a symphony of steel. <laughs> Excuse me, we're discussing steel watcher gyronetics. A topic beyond your understanding, I imagine. <laughs> Should you wish to join us, learn the difference between gyronetic series four versus seven. Yes? What a jerk. Give up a kidney for a tour of the Steel Watch Foundry. Good armor is hard to find. Uh, as if any of us would be so good. Uh, Sapphire and Lily. I'd love to chat, but I've got a suit to find. Who knew buying something so simple would take the bones of a day? To think I used to like shopping before this. Never shop with your partner, my mother warned. I hate to admit it, but she was right. <laughs> I 
You have got to check out Dan Thelon's dancing acts. Their leather work is amazing. Don't forget to visit the Velveteen Elixir. Us adventurers have to keep stocked up. Calms, garms. Arms, garms. There's Dantalon's dancing X, and what's well, below? Anything? Shopping for a suit. Dinner with my parents. Remember? All right, to Carms Garms. Oh no. Mulworm Sendel, Icewind Dale Strandling, and Horde Scarab Die now on sale. All right, neighbor. Put him up. Put him up. But what up? Yay! You spoke to me. Nobody ever talks to me. Your fist, silly. I'm trying something out. My name's Narber. Adventurer to be. Soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Uh, follow your dreams and find out. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch, I guess. It won't hurt. Will it? No, surely not. Roar! 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 Are you scared? Did you wet your pants? Did you? Did you? Let me guess. You decided to try being a barbarian. That's right! You got it! Yay! So how did I do? Are you quaking in your boots with fear? Uh, sure. Why not? Yes! Nobber has found his calling! Rob! <laughs> Maybe not! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear! Uh, what is it this time? Bard? Yep, that's right. Help me out here. Happy birthday, dear. Donald. Happy birthday to you. What do you think? Am I a good bard? All the bards I've met play an instrument. Oh, I don't have one of those. Balls. Back to the marbling board then. <laughs> Bless us with your gentle, no, ho holy uh, spirit. No, soul, no, spirit. Your powers, your divine powers. Bother. Cleric this time. Yeah, whatever you're doing, I'm pretty sure you're doing it wrong. I'm praying! Is is that not how it goes? What god are you praying to? There's more than one? Shit. <laughs> no, I don't think... <laughs> what in the hells are you doing now? Oh! You, you didn't get it? Ranger? I'm pretending to be a dog. Everyone likes dogs. Uh, carry on then. <laughs> <laughs> so in case it's not clear, this guy is a reference to Nuber from Baldur's Gate 1. Behold, 
mundane meddler. You step in the domain of a master speller. For I am to be the most mighty wizard! I know this one. You're a wizard. Duh. <laughs> wizard? W I Z A Y R D. Wizard. Uh, sure. That wasn't it, was it? Bum. Know any fiendish philanthropists? Fickle fay financiers? Eldritch employers? I want to make a pact. Are you sure you're ready to be a warlock? To sell your soul for eternity? My soul? I have to give up my soul to become a warlock? Um. Um. Like Halston was shaking his head at him. Um. <laughs> I take it you've decided to try being a monk. Oh hi! I didn't see you there. I was in deep meditation. See, isn't peace and quiet just the best? <sighs> I'm gonna be the best monk there ever was. Go back to being silent, then. Narva seals his lips, but you feel the pressure of words behind them. The poor thing is straining, fit to burst. <sighs> I can't do it. I have too much to say. You were right. I can't be a monk. I just want to talk. Talking's great. See, you can say words, make friends, tell everyone everything you're thinking and feeling. As he empties himself of his latest slew of thoughts, you take the opportunity to slip away. I'm assuming we'll get a reward for talking to him so many times after going through all the classes. Just like Nuber in Baldur's Gate 1, if you talk to him enough times, you get a reward. Bet you didn't even see me coming. I'm a shadow, a master of sneakery, a rogue. Was someone talking? I hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, oh I might be too good at this. What if no one ever sees me again? What if no one ever talks to me again? No! If not a rogue, then a ranger! I'm great at chasing things down! I hope you're looking forward to those long, lonely months on the trail. God damn it! Why are so many adventure jobs so lonely? I thought you were supposed to have parties! Perhaps the answer was deep inside me all along. An ancient spark of arcana. Yes, I was born to be a sorcerer. I can feel it. Uh, cool. Can you do any magic? Let me, let me focus. I can feel the power deep within me. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. <coughs> oh. Oops! <laughs> Just ingestion! <laughs> uh... My liege, I swear to you, an undying oath of absolute devotion. I am but your humble paladin. I was hoping each class got unique dialogue, depending on which one he was pretending to be. I'm afraid I am sworn to an oath of my own. I cannot be your master. Oh well, back to the narbing board. I do love that he calls it the narbing board. It's perfect for a shirt. These roles sure are restrictive, aren't they? Maybe the adventuring life's just not for me. I really like talking to you. There's not a lot of people that want to talk to me, so I brought you this present. Here. 
Now, what are we going to talk about if not the adventuring life? Wait. What if I mix the classes? Darber, you genius! We did the impossible. We listened to Narber until he ran out of questions. We got the absolute confidence amulet. Performance plus one, intimidation minus one. The interlocked bronze links of, the, links of this necklace tinkle softly every time you move. Oh, looks like he left. Not fair enough. Enjoy our new collection of luxury sleepwear. Never winter nighties. <laughs> Hi, right, Carmen Pennygood. Oh, hi, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Carmen. <laughs> what can I do you for? You've not quite got the pattern nailed yet, Carmen. Ugh. If it's empty pattern you want, get your clothes from a brother Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Garms has you covered. So you don't get on with your brother? You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk, that I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, dick. Maybe Figaro wanted his sister close. You just lost your dad, after all. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? Yeah, that was a bit forward of me. Uh, let's take a look at your wares first, and then we can warn about danger. Sounds good. Get you something a bit... fresher than your current outfit. Because we don't want her running off before we can look at her goods. A bicock it. Got a lot of clothing options. Lionheart outfit, a presumably named for a courageous person. Regardless, a marvelously decadent outfit. City of Brass outfit. Some of these might look good. It's hard to tell, though, just from... The little pictures they give us. I'll try this one. Remember... Calms, Calms, here for all your fashion needs. And it's got a cool name. Ah, it looks too circusy. Welcome back to Calms, Calms. We've got clothes for your uh, arms. Um. What do you need? Uh, Patterson needs a bit of work. Maybe less rhyming. I already told you. If Patter's your main interest, go see my brother. My focus is good clothing for a good price. Uh, let's take a look at your wares. Sounds good. Get you something a bit... fresher than your current outfit. Yeah, I'll try this one as well. And that's all the money Remember, I'll spend on clothes because calms, here for all your fashion needs. 
You don't see them very often anyway. So, we always see our character in camp. Or when it... I don't know, it just it seems way too dressy for camp. We could probably dye it and make it look a little better, but... Yeah, fine with this, because while it is a little dressier, it's not, I think, too overdone for camp. Welcome back to Calm's Gums. We've got clothes for your uh, arms. Um, what do you need? Oh yeah, your uh, brother's in danger. <laughs> uh, your brother's in danger. I found his name on a serial killer's list. A killer? That's God. I've no love from my brother, but that's extreme. He doesn't deserve that. Thanks for warning me. But it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. Right, fair enough. Right, we'll just sneak back here and close the door. Backless extravaganza. The needled book. A book on advanced dressmaking fitted with materials like spare needles, measures, and patterns. It is riddled with handwritten annotations, and most of its accoutrement have been removed. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. I hand the stolen goods back. A show of contrition and property returned will suffice. This time. Oh, so you can see through the curtain. Fair enough. I uh, will just read the scented letter. A fancy letter with a light musk of good perfume. Dearest Carmen, the work samples in your last correspondence were most exceptionally well received. In particular, those fabulous straw hats were a hit. The League of Basket Makers and the Wicker Workers thought the patterns and structures were fabulous, and the hat shapes themselves were not too far from their usual specification. They requested some more samples post haste, with more business to follow. Oh, happy day. A Mistress Seamlock, order of Master Tailors, Glovers, and Mercers, Waterdeep. Letter from Figaro. A dear sister, do take care not to tell your customers to return to face makers. I don't want them confusing your horrendous designs for my own. Hope this finds you blessed, Figaro. <laughs> Ideas for new outfits. Ankle scarves, oxbow ties, bucket hats could be fashionable. Displacer cloaks, hard to source outside of circus. Face ruffs, two person waistcoats. She's got the spirit. One day I'll catch a break. The stitches on this leather armor is What I wouldn't give you. Yes, yeah, so you can't walk through the curtain. That's what I figured. But I didn't think she could see through it. Taking a look. These boots have seen everything. It's interesting, you can actually see into the attic. Watch your elders and learn. Hmm. 
Oh, fair enough. I guess we don't need it. Can't give up now. What path lies before me? Two maidens and a bachelor clawing at my door the very next day. Oh yeah. It's actually a good time to go back to this. Like Glinda, Old Tower. How long do you think Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. <laughs> Alright. I guess she was insinuating explosives. Whatever you're working on, hope that fixes it for you. All right. Uh, let's head back to Rivington and go to the circus. I doubt that or Orin left a note at the uh, Dryads stand. Because the Dryad never showed up again. Oh, Mrs. this guy as well. Uh, Velson Oaks. Fruit? Vegetables? What can I do you for? If you're hungry, you know where to find me. Are you the one selling the elixir of bloodlust? Doesn't really seem something you'd start. What does it feel like? What do I know? Ladder leading up as well. I'll check this out first. Call and I answer. I think Gale has the boots that I want real quick. Alright, so I think you have to be in camp to access their... the other companion's inventories. Well, shoot. I could do this instead. Harper can see me. What about if I hide over here? Well. We have to go in here at some point anyway, so we can try to distract them. And then do what's in the chest. I'd like to get back up here. Is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Oh, they're targeting modules. If it ain't done, it's because we already own it. 
Actually, you know what? I want to get back up here. Actually, I'm sure this leads to the same place, right? Uh, maybe not. Well, either way, I think I'm going to call it here next time. We'll check out this building, then we'll go to the Danathalons. Danathalons, Dancing Axe. And I, we'll have to remember to check out the rooftops as well. There could always be secrets up there. But for now, I am going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.